After watching this video you will learn how to make this highlighter effect in Filmora X. Guys my name is Salah Ali. Welcome to Salah Tutorials. In this video I will show you how to make highlighter effect in Filmora X. First, open your Filmora X video editor. So for that you need an image of a lined paper like this. I have downloaded this image of the paper. And a sound effect. Now I want to create a really authentic looking highlighter effect over some of the text. So drag them both into the Filmora. Now just before we move on, I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one, so if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing and liking the video. Add the image to the timeline. Adjust the image to full screen. Now go to the title and drag the default title to the timeline. Double click on the title and change the color of the title. Now here is something to write. I have already written a few sentences in notepad. I will copy it. And now I paste here. You can see that the font size is too large. So I reduce its size. I kept the font size to 36. I move the font position to the center. You can see that the lines in the image are very narrow. Hold the image from the center arrow and move it downwards. You can see that the distance between the lines is getting wider. Now all the writing has reached its own lines. Now go to media and click on sample color. And add a color called gradient 3 to the second track of the timeline. Adjust the color according to the text of the first line. Select items on the timeline and increase its duration. Now split this color according to the number of lines. I split it into 8 parts because I have 8 lines. The first part of the color is in the right place. Come to the second part. To move the second part of the color down, double click on that part and open the transform tab. And move it down through the Y position. In the same way, I do color positions of all the lines through the Y box. Keep watching. Now move the color that is outside the text in the lines to the text. Now put a keyframe in the end of the first part. To do this, go to animation and click customize. Add keyframe. Now put a keyframe in the start. Then double click on the image. And move the image from the right arrow to the start. This will make them very small in the starting position. And so it will become an animation. In the same way, I add keyframes in all these lines. Just keep watching.
For this last part, the duration of the keyframe should be kept short as there is only one word. Split and delete extra parts. Now go to effects and search for ribbon and effects. Now add this ribbon effect to the track above the timeline and set its duration. Then search for the textile effect and add it to the timeline. Set the duration. Now it is time to apply the sound effect. Go to media and drag the sound effect. Now we have to apply one sound effect from each keyframe to keyframe. Delete the extra part of the sound effect. Copy sound effect. Slow down the speed of the sound effect with the mouse click while holding down the control, so that it is equal to the keyframe. Paste the copied sound effect here. Also slow down this sound effect according to the frame. The method of applying sound effects is the same. Keep watching. Editing finished. Now let me show you what we did. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this, click links in the description below and enjoy our free videos. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications. See you again with a new video. Thanks.